hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl truthful nuki so guys please go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video so guys in this video um spice will talking about what happened to her during last year to do year that she does for surgery or in the space of what four months or uh, less than four months so guys please check out the video With me on this earthly ride, you heal my pain every night that I cried. Hey guys, Ooh. hi guys, good morning, good morning. Yes, um. Good morning. Somebody said, let me see you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Welcome back. Thank you, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I want to just jump right into it. I don't know how I'm going to answer so many questions and talk about so many things in such a short space of time, but um, I believe that before anything, I owe you guys an ex uh, a conversation and a conversation that's long overdue, and so I just want to jump into it and to get certain things out there and we can chit-chat a little bit and go through everything. I know it's been a long while, and I wanted you to know that I didn't purposely disappear. I didn't purposely, um, was not coming on live. I know you guys love to see me on live, and it feels good to be on live. But before I go any further, I just want to give God all the glory and all the honor, all the thanks and all the praise for this moment, for this beautiful day, um, for joining us back together in, in life, you know. Um, all right. So where do I start from? There's so many things to talk about. There's so many questions so many concerns and I don't even know where to start to be honest but I'm just going to be led by the Holy Spirit um so let's rewind to last year let us go back in time a little bit um last year October As you all know, I came off of Instagram because I felt targeted. I feel like everybody was kind of waking up every day trying to talk about me. And um, there was just sense of burden that came over me. Like, everything is spice. Every day I spice. Everything happened. I just me. Like, you know, I was being targeted. And so I came off of Instagram. And I, I remember telling you guys Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from last year, October. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this moment for myself to kind of rejuvenate, heal. I was going through a lot of health issues um, that I want to kind of walk you guys through. Because sometimes we're on Instagram and because we see people laughing, we feel like, oh, they're happy. Not every laugh means happy. And um, I just want to 
be open. I want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God to educate women on this tragic situation that I've been through. I, um, I've never come on live not knowing what I'm going to say. Yes, I'm scared. Yes, I'm afraid. Yes, I... Because, you see, I know that at the end of this life, it you no know, matter what I say, it you no know, matter what I explain, it you no know, matter what I tell you, know, there's still going to be people that's going to have their own opinion. Still going to be people that's going to probably laugh, that's going to drag me, that's going to bash me, that's going to do whatever. But at the end of the day, this life is not about them. It's about me and people who genuinely love and care for me. And so I want to take this time out to say, last year, if you had prayed for me, if you had genuinely prayed for me last year, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to even start there. You know, I want to start with God. I want to give him the glory. I want to give him all the thanks, all the praise. I want to acknowledge that there is a God. I want to acknowledge that Jesus is king. I want to acknowledge that I'm standing here by the grace of God. And I want to acknowledge that your prayers worked if you prayed for me, if you was concerned, thank you. I appreciate you all because it's been a rough journey. So let us just go back and um, walk you through the journey. Um, so my health issue that I was having, I want to see if I know how to use this as best as possible because I want to also include photos in this live just so that you can understand what I was going through. Um, let me see. How do I go? Camera roll. Um, how do I find the photos? Okay. All right. So I can't find the, hold on. I want to be very vulnerable and I want to show you everything so let me go into this collage as you all know because it's no secret i had um procedures done before i did liposuction and i had a tummy tuck done this is a picture of my real stomach um i was suffering from something called fibrosis and fibrosis is something that you get lumps in your belly you know so because of my past surgeries that i did before I had something called fibrosis and it's when you don't get your lymphatic massages done. So you get lumps in your belly. So this was what my real stomach looked like. But to be honest, I love myself like with my flaws and all. It wasn't really bothering me. It was like neither here nor there for me. Um, I went about my day and it started to affect me when it started showing up in my outfit choose a different asset stop sharing okay yeah just just bear with me guys i just want to be vulnerable with you guys and i want to be open and honest and so that's what i was going through and like i said it never bothered me until it started to show up into my outfits and so this is what it would look like in my clothing if you zoom this picture I'm zooming my own self. Okay, hold on. I can't zoom the picture. But if you look and you notice, it shows up through my clothes. And so the lumps started to get painful. Um, in this picture, that was like the real reality of what my stomach looked like. All right? Um, so sometimes when I see people on Instagram, and because they can't use up, and because they can't smooth out, and so it doesn't mean that everything is okay. So... That was the picture of what I was going through. And let me continue. So I decided to go to the DR because a lot of people was like, oh, why she wouldn't go to Miami? Why she go to America? Why she go to DR? I chose to go to the DR because I feel like I was more popular in America. And because obviously because of the same thing that happened when the things hit the internet, I was trying to avoid that. So I go to DR because of course, you know, it's a Spanish speaking country. So... You know, I wanted to consult to find out what was really wrong with me or what, you know, why my stomach was looking like that, why I was feeling pain, why I was getting lumps in the stomach. All right. So that was what I was going through. Um, while I was in the DR, as you know, when you get a breast implant, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm wrong for saying that because I don't think everybody knows. So let me say, I don't think you know, but when you get a breast implant, 
it only has 10 year lifespan. This is something wrong with the mic. You you not hear me? Are you guys hearing me? I'm hearing. Check your internet. Hold on. Let me check it. Hold on. Pause due to cut. Is that better, guys? Let me know if you're hearing me. Because uh, I want to take a deep breath and I want to just um, get this off of my chest and get this out of the way. So are you guys hearing me? It said frozen. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I cover the microphone. All right, let me hold the, hold the phone in my hand. Is this better? I didn't want to hold the, um, the phone in my hand, but you say I'm covering up the microphone. I can hear you. Speaker. Lisa Mercedes, you're there bright and early. Oh, I forgot to say England, you're there. <laughs> she said, yes, that's good now. You're good. Okay. Okay. Amara La Negra. I love you, sis. Oh, big up yourself, Amara. My sister, Fenny, so that must depend here. Big up, Fen. All right. So, um, okay. Yeah, you guys can hear me. Where was I now? What did I say? Okay, so that was what I was going through through my stomach. So, let me fast forward to...